I know you guys are Forex traders. That's why you are here with me today. But the question is, you know, how do we really become professional, right? How do we learn? At the end, you know, I'm a self-taught trader myself. I have gone through the, the, the trouble back in 2005 when you know, online trading was basically being introduced to the market. It was so hard for me to find someone who, who knew what was Forex. Nowadays, especially after 2008 financial crisis, there are so many so-called trainers out there. And believe me, most of these guys are scumbags. Sorry for my French, sorry for cursing. Many of these people are there just for scamming you out. And I also understand that choosing a reliable Forex trainer is one of the most important decisions for almost every single trainer, uh, uh, trader out there. It is probably one of the best part of your decision making at the beginning of your trading career. So if you want to get the best trainer out there and at the end, you know, it is your best investment that you're going to be doing, right? It is an investment. You are investing in your education. You are investing in your skill set. You are investing in your future, basically, right? So it is important for you to seek financial education, therefore, from the right audience, right source out there. Yeah. So if you are failing to reach to the right source, you are already failing to succeed in the market. Therefore, you got to be very, very careful. Although most of the so-called educators are out there, as I told earlier, mostly as scammers out there. And you also need to understand that there are various kinds of legit trainers uh, as well. And finding the right one that suits your needs and objectives can be very challenging and quite often is extremely challenging for many traders out there the f the person or the institution that you are selecting is uh, gonna be influencing on your future at, at the end you know if you are learning from a loser you're gonna be a lose if you are learning from the best trade of the year most likely you're gonna be moving a little and a little forward to become one of the best traders out there as an example, I am not claiming that I'm the best, but many people do claim that I'm the best trader of the year. Therefore, I have been nominated as the best trader of the year, at least that I remember three times in the last five years. So, what I really look into personally when I'm training people, and by the way, I don't charge people and I don't have any mentorship program. Most of my mentorship programs are out there for hedge funds and institutions only. So I don't have anything for individual trainers or traders uh, out there. So don't please ask me to give you personal mentorship. I will not. So most of the time that you really need to understand whether or not this one person trainer is good or not is getting back to one fundamental aspect of financial markets. And you may be asking... What is that one fundamental aspect of financial markets? The answer lies within conflict of interest. Okay, so does this person that you are selecting have any kind of conflict of interest with you or with your objectives? Is this person representing you or in another word, the trader's interest to, to succeed in the market or his sole interest by teaching you or acting like he's teaching you is just to, to to get money from you or to get some commission from some brokers out there so you got to be able to define this conflict of interest out there you need to make sure that the person that you are selecting does not have any conflict of interest and it all it's not just applying for trainers out there but also for signal providers and technology providers, I don't know, uh, different, different kinds of people out there that are uh, making up the Forex market. So let's get back to the part where you will be understanding the types of educators out there. As I mentioned, although most of these people are scammers, some of them are legit. So let's not just classify everything as bad, 
just because most of them are, are scammers. So educators are broadly classified into three categories. I, I've written it down here, so I'm going to be reading it for you uh, because it's just a theoretical background that I have written on my personal book as well. It, it, you'll be seeing my, my book, Forex Not For Dummies, coming up in a, in a few months from now. So according to the book that I have written, the, the three types of trainers out there are first, tied educators who operate on behalf of a Forex broker. So you will see many Forex brokers out there as an example, providing you webinars and seminars and making road trips in your country and so on and so forth. Oh, we are going to be giving you the strategy, this and that. But coming back to the earth, majority of these brokers are acting against the regulator if they say that they're going to be teaching you how to trade. Because according to the regulatory framework, at least of the European Union, where I am in right now, the broker does not have the authority to teach you or give you any kind of a financial advice. So if they are acting like they are doing so, it means they are already in conflict with their regulator. So any broker claiming that they're going to be teaching you, sorry for my French, but they are, they are fooling you. So, the next one is multi-tied educators who train novice traders on different simple strategies for a limited range of providers. Providers here are referring from my end to brokers, okay? And there are many examples out there, many people who work with different kind of brokers as an IB, introducing broker, and their job is just to make some kind of seminars, webinars, I don't know, different kind of road shops, uh, shows, etc. Just to reach as many traders as possible. Yeah. And they want to basically get, uh, well, as much commission as possible from uh, the broker. Okay. So you've got to understand why are you participating on these guys' trainings. So if you see a person or an entity basically not charging anything on a trader or charging, let's say, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, in another word, tiny amount of money to, to provide education on daily basis or weekly basis and hopping from one broker to another one consistently, it is likely that this guy is just after, you know, referring you to a broker and making a commission out of you. So he doesn't really care what you are learning or what you are not learning. All he cares is how much money he makes. And I have many examples here. I don't want to give the names exactly, but this specific framework works amazing in countries like Indonesia, in Philippines, in Nigeria, in South Africa, in Malaysia and Singapore as well as in uh, as an example in Europe uh, in Hungary in Poland in Czech Republic so these guys will be going door by door literally trying to get as many traders as possible and get them become clients of these specific brokers in order to basically make as much commission as possible and at the end sorry but they do not care whether you succeed or not. They only care about you becoming a client of this specific broker so that they can make as much money as they could. Yeah. And then there are the third party people. These are the independent people, basically. They sometimes do work with some brokers. However, not always is the case. Okay. They are independent people. They will come and charge you fixed amount of fee. I'll refer to myself. I used to give trainings for individuals just like you guys back in 2012, 13, 11 as well. And my trainings were based on hourly fee. Okay, I, I, I used to always charge hourly fee. And I was charging basically $250 per hour for, for my personal trainings by then. 
now my fee is 750 and I don't really charge or I don't really train individual tra traders out there unless I have a kind of a challenge for myself here and, now, and there. So these kind of people, what they will do all the time is sit with you first, try to understand you at the beginning, okay? Try to understand your objectives, make a test on you and see whether or not you are fit to trade forex that's the first requirements that they'll put forward so if you are not passing the the test that they are giving you from the very beginning it is likely that they will not accept you to become their student at the end let's say in my case i will not accept anyone who i believe that is not fit to forex trading or any kind of trading at all and he's maybe a gambler in mine so I will not really go ahead and waste my time no matter how much he pays me that at the end money is not my my main motivator my I would be actually having a conflict of interest personally if I'm trading someone just for the sake of money so my intention from the very beginning is just to make sure that you as a trader will be succeeding so that you can refer more and more clients for me, in another word. That, you know, I will not just make some money from you, and I'm not referring to myself, I'm just uh, talking hypothetically. But overall, you know, we, we would be making you succeed, and you would be making me succeed. That's, that's the winning mindset from actual professional trainer out there. The next thing that you really need to understand and look for when you are selecting a professional forex trainer out there is actually looking into references who this person have trained in the feature, uh, in the past and what kind of feature did he really promise okay so you will all, the, here is a trick part all right so you will see a number of these so-called trainers as well faking so-called references out there he will be faking that uh, in different groups etc that oh I, I succeeded in Forex because of uh, Mr. J uh, hypothetically okay so, so you got to really go ahead and, and check these people's or, or refer, reference providers background as well see if they are real pro people or not or they are uh, they've just provided a profile a day before and the only thing that they do is just providing a positive feedback about a trainer so it is likely that also these people will be scammers so you got to find a reliable source for yourself and another way of testing these people whether or not they are reliable is checking on their activities okay now one way of checking on trainers activities is uh, actually asking once or twice to give you a kind of a short analysis on what's going to be happening let's say on pound dollar within the next uh, 24 hours just small uh, recommendation on what you would be expecting okay so you take this and it's not a set stone requirement that this uh, recommendation should be 100% legit. I'm not claiming so. At the end, there is no holy grail. It might be the possibility that this person is going to be giving you a losing trade idea. But at the end, you get to understand what kind of idea he will be teaching you. Let's say in my case, you know, I have my Skype group as well personally with uh, almost 300 people every day I'm sharing my personal ideas in there and I'm providing free education on A to Z Forex as well on daily basis almost weekly basis as well where everything is free of charge I'm not tied to any broker I'm not tied to anyone at all I'm just individual I'm, and I'm doing it because of the fact that I love teaching people okay so what I also do is that I provide my personal well screenshot of my personal trading account pretty much every week what has happened before and you see a number of my losing positions and also a number of my winning positions and this brings me to the next point 
if you see a trainer out there that's gonna be only showing you only and only winning positions out there that he has been performing you can forget about it not only forget about it run away from that person as fast as you can because he's one of the biggest scammers out there there is no such thing as 100% winning okay I have made multiple times seven digit profit in Forex market and with my experience that I have been uh, so far experiencing the Forex market I am not ever more than 90% profitable in any given time I have been nominated as the best trade of the year at least three times and again I don't have at any week at all that I don't really have any uh, losing positions at least there will be one position that I will be placing where I will have a losing position and this is another learning perspective for you as well what does your trainer teach you on how to handle a losing position right so it is not always teaching you how to win it is also about teaching you how to lose but how to lose by limiting your losses all right so as an example today we had the boe uh, rate cut and yesterday in our training we said that i expect for the beginning the pound dollar to collapse to 1.38 uh, 3280 uh, level and from there onwards rise so we did have that and then we said that if we see a collapse below 1.38 3280 level we would be seeing further collapse downwards towards uh, 1.31 which we have seen today as well so imagining that I would have said let's say uh, the buy, uh, buy limit order as an example from 1.3160 and I wouldn't give you giving you any you know exit scenario where to exit I would have been a very bad mentor for you personally and you shouldn't have followed me because at the end every professional trader has an exit strategy so far this is it guys so uh, for me today on how to select a reliable forex trainer uh, i tried to keep it uh, very simple for the fact that i expected novice traders following this uh, session so if you have any question or so you can ask it now and i'll be more than happy to answer you